number of excellent arcade classics that have been released on Xbox Live Arcade like Ms. Pac-Man, Galaga, Xevious. Many of these games benefit from being played with a real arcade joystick, primarily Ms. Pac-Man. So in order to play Ms. Pac-Man the way that I like to play Ms. Pac-Man with an arcade joystick, I decided to try out the Mad Cats arcade Xbox 360 joystick. And you see here it has a joystick. Now, you might be wondering why this is sitting on a block of wood. Well, because I actually super glued it to a block of wood. And as, as silly as that might seem, my biggest gripe with these kind of joysticks dating all the way back to the Atari 2600 joystick is that they give you little foot pads on them, but when you move the controller, you know, they wobble all over the place. So by fastening it to a block of wood, you can either uh, you know, rest a hand on the side of the block of wood and play it, and it, just, it doesn't go anywhere. It stays put. Uh, ideally, you'd actually cast this into a gigantic block of iron, and that way you wouldn't even be able to move it if you tried. But uh, the, the block of wood trick isn't bad. Just a very cheap and simple block of wood with rubber feet underneath the block of wood so it doesn't go anywhere. Uh, but let's take a look at this uh, joystick. Mad Cats has been making accessories for various game consoles for years, so everything to have this work properly on the Xbox 360 is here. The familiar starting button, the uh, head headset input is there. The buttons are uh, more or less just like the uh, Xbox 360 buttons. This joystick tries to be a Swiss Army knife of arcade joysticks, and that's where it falls a bit short. It tries to do too much and doesn't do any one thing well. They give you a D-pad which is slightly textured but uh, just somewhat rounded off the edges so it's really not a great D-pad to play with. You get this joystick which is kind of like the uh, you know the analog thumbsticks on the PlayStation controllers but it's just got too little resistance. Doesn't seem to work real well. Um, then they tried to give you the Atari style paddle controller here with this and there's a switch up here you can you can activate the paddle controller function but in a couple games that I tried to use this on on the uh, Xbox Atari collection it didn't work very well it sort of that the cursor went you know jerked around the screen so I don't know what the deal is with that but uh, my first impression was not good this is the primary reason that I picked up this controller the arcade joystick. I love Ms. Pac-Man. It's one of my favorite games ever made. However, in order to play Ms. Pac-Man properly, you really need to play with the arcade joystick from the arcade machine. And Xbox Live has Ms. Pac-Man. I downloaded it, but I've never been a huge fan of playing Ms. Pac-Man with a uh, D-pad or a directional pad. I prefer to play it with a joystick. Well, this is plastic and somewhat flimsy. And that's the, that's the problem with this joystick, is it just, there's, there's no way this thing comes close to a real arcade joystick. And for $15, I guess, how would you expect it to? Although the NES Advantage comes close, and it costs about $15 now, so, uh, you know, you can draw your own conclusion from that. But they give you a little button on there, maybe you like to play Xevious, and you can fire with the top button. Same for Galaga or games like that, so it's kind of a neat little joystick, but but nowhere near solid enough to really replace an arcade joystick from a 1980s arcade machine. If we look down here, you can see where this thing pivots around. It's got a very wide range of motion, and that, that doesn't help either. If you're driving over there with Ms. Pac-Man, and you want to change directions, suddenly it's very easy to turn change directions, but all of a sudden you're pointing down instead of right. And then Ms. Pac-Man goes the wrong direction, and you get eaten by ghosts and suffer a horrible horrible death. All the other buttons are here. Flip this around on top. It says Mad Cats upside down right now. And you can see the trigger buttons for the Xbox 360 controller are here. They try to make it uh, fit into your hand with little molds there, but you know that never works real well. Buttons are fairly solid. There's a, here's the switch to turn the spinner on and off. You get turbo buttons. 
This may be the jack of all trades that you're looking for to play Xbox 360 games. It's affordable because it's not wireless. It plugs into the front of your Xbox 360 with a USB cable here. And they give you a lot of wire, so it's not like uh, you have to set this thing right next to your game console. The build quality is a bit flimsy, but for the uh, you know, low price that they sell this for, it's not surprising. It's very, very plasticky and definitely does not feel as sturdy as the normal Xbox 360 controllers from, from Microsoft. I'm still on a quest to find a proper arcade joystick for my Xbox 360. This doesn't quite do the job. However, the block of wood trick worked out very well. And you can do that uh, to your Atari joysticks, too. You can super glue them to a block of wood or your coffee table. When you get down to it, you can super glue a controller to just about anything. That super glue is really tough. Thank you.